Welcome to another episode of Yucky Nasty Bug Facts with your host, Hal Coleman. And now here's Hal with today's episode. Hello folks, this is Hal Coleman coming to you with another episode of Yucky Nasty Bug Facts. Well, today's bug fact in this episode, it's not about bugs at all. It's about rats. Now, you hear me talking about rats a lot of times. We do a lot of rat work here at North Fulton Exterminating. But, you know, most people that have rats really, I don't know about most people, but a lot of people that have rats are really not aware that they have rats. They call and say, I hear something scurrying around in my attic. I think it's squirrels. I see squirrels in my yard. And we go out and we look in the attic and we find evidence of rats, roof rats. That's ratus ratus. Now, sometimes... The, the heating and air conditioning guy goes up in the attic to work on the unit, whether it's in the attic or the basement. He comes down and tells people, you know, you got rats. They're like, whoa, what do you mean rats? You got rats. We find the droppings, find evidence of the rats. Okay, sometimes people see a little animal scurrying around in the yard and they say, I think I have rats. I don't know. It might be a rat. It might be a chipmunk. I'm not sure. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the difference between rats and chipmunk. Now, we've been out doing rat work catching rats, you know, trapping them in people's attics. And occasionally you catch a chipmunk uh, if you've got a trap set around on a porch, which is what happened in my own yard. I have chipmunks uh, and I had a trap on my back porch because I had seen evidence of a rat. They're in all neighborhoods, folks. Face it, I don't care whether you live in a $2 million home, uh, there are rats in your neighborhood. Roof rats, ratus ratus, live in people's homes. They're called commensal rodents. Commensal means lives with man or shares man's table. They've been living in our homes for thousands of years. They don't just live naturally out in the woods like wood rats do, white-footed rats, cotton rats. You find those out in the woods. You don't find those in people's houses. So if you've got a rat in your house, in your attic or your basement, it came from one of your neighbor's homes. They just go from house to house. And now in urban areas like where I live in Roswell, Georgia, uh, the neighborhoods are so close together that rats just go from neighborhood to neighborhood. They go from dumpster to dumpster. They live around structures where man lives. So let's take a look at the difference between a rat and a chipmunk to start with. First, this is a roof rat. Came out of somebody's attic just like yours. Don't worry, it's dead. It's not hanging upside down like a bat. It is dead. First thing I want to show you is this long, long naked tail you see that long naked tail no hair brown on the back kind of white on the bottom this is a yucky nasty roof rat that came out of somebody's attic this is a chipmunk came off of my back porch by accident furry tail see the little furry tail a little piece of it's missing but he's got a furry tail and he's got a stripe down each side you see the stripe down each side? And it's kind of a reddish, brownish color, white underneath. Okay, this is a chipmunk. You got that? Chipmunk, rat. You see what they look like on the back? You see what they look like on the bottom? You don't have to worry about these little guys. They're not going to get into your house. They're not going to get into your attic. They're not going to set up housekeeping. But this guy will, okay? So let's talk about this guy, the roof rat. How does he get into your home? He gets into your home mostly through the little gap between the fascia. That's where your gutters are tacked on and your roof decking. There's a gap there. In most houses, it goes all, all the way around. The builders say they leave it there to allow ventilation, and maybe they do. It sounds like a good idea to me because you got that little twirly thing on top that lets the air out. But the rats can climb like a squirrel. They can swim like a fish. They can jump like a rabbit. They're going to find a way to get into your home. They've been getting into homes for thousands of years. They'll find a way to get into your home, too. They'll go right up the downspout, and through the gutters, they'll get into that little crack, go over into your house. Now, if you live in a small ranch-style house that's not insulated very well, and one of these guys gets up in your attic and starts hopping around up there, you're going to hear him. I mean, you really are, especially if he gets down inside the house. You give him a lay at night and say, I hear something running around the attic. But... If you live in a huge house, you know, a million or two dollar house, it's so big up there and the attic is so well insulated and the rat might be in one end of the attic living and you're in the other end of the house sleeping, you don't ever hear them. 
it's hard to hear something in a big house like that. So sometimes we go into these huge big houses and we find that rats have been living up there for a long time. There's a lot of rats up there. I mean, but sooner or later, one of them's going to get down into your house and that's when it's going to really spark some excitement in your house. You know, you wake up in the middle of the night and you hear something clump, 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 clump down the hall. Uh, or you find an apple that was on your kitchen counter, and the next day you find it in the middle of the living room floor, and it's got some little bites taken out of it. Or you wake up one morning and you find a carpet underneath the doorway kind of chewed and pulled up, some chew marks on the bottom of the doorway. That's because he's trying to get into the next room. He can see under there, so he starts trying to chew a hole. Everywhere they go, they shed thousands and thousands of hairs every day. So everywhere they go, you know, there are rat hairs everywhere. So... If one's running around, especially if it gets in your house, you want to get it out of there quick. They love to chew. They're rodents, gnawing animals. They have these chewing teeth on the bottom. You see them right there, uh, these chewing teeth. They've got to keep chewing all the time. Now, what happens is they chew on wiring. Why? Well, some scientists theorize that a wire is like a little stem or a, or a little branch or a twig or a vine and that's what rats like to eat the bark so they find anything that resembles a vine or a twig they chew on it so they're chewing on the wiring they have cause short circuits they shut down expensive computer systems they've even been known to cause fires in homes short circuits where you have to you know go from here to Egypt in order to find out why where in the insulation the problem is or your dishwasher in your kitchen uh, they chew on the water hoses they like that rubber pipe for some reason, your, uh, your clothes washer, so they cause tremendous flooding in homes. They get in automobiles, they chew up the seats to get the stuffing out to make nests with. Uh, you don't want these guys around. So if you've got a bird feeder around your home and your neighbors do, I can guarantee you it's a fact you have rats in your neighborhood right now. They live with man. They're commensal rodents. They're there. So be a good idea to get your house checked to see if you have rats up there. If you don't, that's fine. Make sure that's great. Uh, most likely you don't, but there's a chance you do. And you need to make sure that you have every area sealed up where they can't get in. Now, if you do get rats in your home, keep this in mind. They came from one of your neighbor's homes. Just because you get them out of your home doesn't mean the problem's over because they're still going from house to house. Female gets pregnant, goes, finds a new place to start a family, has you know, anywhere from four to nine babies on an average, sometimes more, sometimes as many as 15. But those babies get up, you know, this big. They're like juveniles. They're like teenagers. They get ready to drive, so they're all over the place. Next thing you know, you say, all of a sudden, my house is invaded with rats. Well, it was just because the, the, you know, the litter just got big enough to start running around. So do yourself a favor. If you hear something in the attic, don't ignore it. Call your pest management professional. If you don't have a pest management professional, you can call me, Hal Coleman, North Fulton Exterminating at 770-475-7419. The number's on the, the uh, wall back here. But anyway, we'll be glad to come check it for you. We'll give you a free consultation. We'll talk to you about it and tell you what you need to do. Don't ignore the possibility that you may have rats in your house at any time. If they're not there now, they could show up at any time because they've been showing up for thousands of years. And you're not immune to them either. If you have any questions or, or comments or you'd like to talk about rats, give me a call uh, and we'll be glad to talk with you. Thanks for watching this episode of Yucky Nasty Bug Facts.